Welcome, my name is Jen Jordan, IMCW meditation teacher, and today I'll be guiding us in a roughly 30 minute guided meditation. And really, uh, this is an opportunity for you to put aside all your worries, your burdens, just for this time in meditation as a way to really fill your own cup and also to widen the lens of awareness. Sometimes we get a little identified and um, contracted around our thought patterns, our stories, and this is a way to cultivate a more spacious awareness that we can come back to over and over again. So just find a posture that supports you that could be seated, standing, lying down, where you, um, it, where it fosters a sense of being both awake um, as well as relaxed. And we'll, we, we will begin. All right, so finding that posture that supports you. Checking your alignment of your spine, that it supports your presence. You might notice the outlines of your body. It's a way of coming home. Just uh, noticing the quality of your attention right now. It's possible to bring any kindness to your experience. No need to do anything right. This time in meditation can truly be a vacation, putting aside as best as possible our worries and concerns, trusting our ability to pick it right back up when we're more refreshed from our meditation. If it's comfortable, you can close your eyes or have a soft downward gaze. And it's a way to arrive, just bringing awareness to your breath for a few cycles. You can deepen it to contact it. You might have a longer exhale, letting go on the exhale. Receiving and allowing on the inhale. Releasing on the exhale. And to help us come into our body to practice embodied awareness, I'll guide us through a body scan. If you come to an area of tightness, you might practice a little tension relaxation to release, starting with the eye muscles softening, the jaw, cheeks, releasing, shoulders, softening, just remembering to breathe through each area. Coming down, bringing awareness into your arms as they rest. Into your hands and softening the hands. Noticing the life inside your hands, sensations, 
tingling, temperature, bring a kind attention to this body, this miracle of a body. Now shifting your awareness up to the area of your heart and chest. You might just take a moment to notice how you're feeling in this moment. Is there a word or two that describes this feeling? Or perhaps it's easier to note a feeling tone, pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. Just greeting whatever's here. With a gentle awareness. And while we're in this heart space, taking a moment to formulate your motivation for coming to this meditation today. What brings you to these practices of loving presence, mindfulness? What do you hope for for yourself? If your heart could speak, what does it aspire to? To live more authentically? To live with an open heart? be free from suffering or something else. Taking a moment to acknowledge whatever intention arose, giving it your Kind, respect. And you allowing that to be your compass, helping you navigate back to your North Star throughout the sit, throughout your day. You might deepen the breath, bring awareness back into the belly, into the body and down into the belly, softening the belly. Coming down to where your body rests on the chair if you're sitting, pressure points, Bring awareness to the force of gravity that's here, holding you steady. 
right now. Grounding you to this earth. Right where you belong. Coming down your legs into your feet. Bringing attention to sensations inside your feet. Directing awareness into your toes. To any sensations in the feet, vibration. Feeling the support of the earth beneath you. The earth that has held you all your days continues to support you right now. And I invite you, if you wish, if there's anything you would like to unburden yourself with right now, perhaps it's mental energy, physical energy, a situation, a thought pattern. I invite you to take a deep breath in and on the exhale, letting it go through your feet into the earth. Let this time be a pleasant abiding. Let yourself unburden. Just for this time in meditation. It's a gift. You might widen your lens of awareness to include the space around you. Letting your field be as wide as your energy needs. You might sense the space inside your body. And taking in the sounds near and far. It's possible to just allow the sounds to pass through your awareness. No need to identify or cling with sounds. Just letting sound vibrations arise and pass away.
I'm going to guide us around the anchor of our breath. An anchor is something in the present moment that we come back to, to steady our awareness. Our attention will drift. This is what our minds do, it's normal. And when we notice this, we come back to our anchor. I'll direct around breath, but if you have an, another anchor of choice in this moment, perhaps that's sound or a place that feels settled in your body. Perhaps it's a spot on the floor. Whatever supports you in the settling, use that as your anchor. Bring awareness to your anchor. To the rise and fall of breath. If it helps, you might practice 711 breathing. Breathing in to a count of seven at your own pace and out to a count of 11. You can do three, five breathing. You might notice the quality of your attention. With these meditation practices, we're cultivating a quality of loving presence. It is normal for many of us to have the striver, the judger, the self-critic, If and when you notice this, it can help to smile and greet it. Bring a lightness. This too. No need to push it away, just greeting it. Allowing You might even bring a slight upward turn to the corners of your mouth, to your heart, to your mind. Is it possible to soften? And treat yourself and whatever arises like you would a dear and beloved friend. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I calm my mind.
And you will notice at some point that your mind has drifted on a stream of thought or feeling. This is not a problem. That is a moment of mindfulness, awareness. You might use the analogy or imagery of a stream with a grassy bank. And there's leaves on the surface of the stream passing by. What leaf did you ride on? What stream of thought was that? Name it to tame it. Planning, judging, ruminating, daydreaming, and something else. The practice is to create a little space between our awareness and our thoughts and feelings. A little space between our identification. So when you're ready, letting the leaves pass you by, sitting down in the soft grass, re-relaxing your brow, your jaw, your shoulders, re-returning to this breath, and this new breath, letting the thought and feeling streams pass you by. Coming back to your anchor. You might bring awareness to the space around your anchor, the space at the top and bottom of each breath cycle. The space between sounds, or if your anchor is body sensations, the space and shifting between sensations.
The gift of the practice of this life is no matter how far we travel away from ourselves, we can always re-return, re-relax with this new moment. This fresh new breath. You might widen your awareness, expand your sense of spaciousness to include the rise and fall of all phenomena. Resting back in a gentle awareness The rise and fall of breath, sounds, sensations, thoughts, feelings. The rise and fall of this phenomena of breath and sounds are like gentle swells on the surface of the ocean, rising and passing away. Whereas your awareness holds it all. Your awareness is the ocean itself. Deep, steady, holding the highs and lows, the joys and the sorrows, we cultivate our ability to access this deeper, steady, ocean of awareness. If there's any sense of calm or tranquility, allowing yourself to explore it and enjoy it.
Allow it to nourish you. Being the joy in unburdening, the joy in letting go just for now. In the words of the Sri Lankan monk, Bhanti G, as your meditation practice deepens, as your breathing slows and your mind settles, you may experience states of great calm, moments that are free of fear, aversion, jealousy, sadness, or greed. These are beautiful, clear states of mind. Although they are temporary, these experiences will change your life. They are the stepping stones on the path that leads in the direction of freedom from suffering. And as our meditation comes to a gentle close, you might bring your back awareness back into your body, into your belly, softening. You might deepen your breath. And I offer this reflection, which has been attributed to the Buddha. The thought manifests as the word. The word manifests as the deed. The deed develops into habit. And habit hardens into our character. So let us watch the thought and its ways with care. Let it spring from love, born out of compassion for all human beings. As the shadow follows the body, as we think, so we become. May your time in practice today serve you serve your path towards freedom from suffering. And may you be well, may you be at ease, and may you be free from suffering. May all beings in all directions be well, at ease, and free from suffering.
might wiggle your fingers and toes. And if you haven't already, you can gently open your eyes, bring in the light. That concludes our meditation. Grateful to have you join today.